guys, what's up? It's Izzy, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be preparing for back to school because back to school is coming up here. I mean, we did get our summer extended by a week, which is great, love it. That doesn't change the fact that at some point we're gonna go back to school. I put together a list of things I need to do and we're going to be doing them together. It'll be fun, I don't know, I can't promise anything. But I feel like the first thing's pretty obvious. First we need school supplies. We went to Target a few days ago and we got some things that I needed just because they were there, but there are some things that I need to order on Amazon. Japanese writing on it, so that's generally a really good sign for stationery because that means that it's good. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Wait, this is pretty. Okay, I just want to make sure that it has enough. Oh, there's a video. Wait, why is it so good? I would like to see it. Oh, she's gonna put all that stuff in there. Okay, I'm getting it. What color? I'm excited. That's dark blue. I like light blue. Light blue. Add to bag. So I also couldn't find five star loose leaf paper at Target, but we're gonna try to see if we can find it on Amazon. College rule, people who buy wide ruled are psychotic. Again, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Wide ruled, wide ruled, college ruled. Maybe we should just try to go to like Staples or something. Okay, we're just gonna go in store for that. Another thing that I need to do is examine clothing and what I need, so let's go upstairs. I just examined my closet again and I recently cleaned it out so I don't really think that I need anything really except maybe a replacement pair of jeans for the ones with the holes in it. That's something I'm gonna have to like go and try on though. I'm gonna up the stairs when I'm really out of bras, oh my god. But the one thing that I wanted, two things, I need bras. The only one that I own is the one that I'm wearing. So we're ordering some of those. And then I also really want like a white tennis skirt because those are so like cute and on trend. Let's go grab a gift card and see if we can pay for the skirt without using my parents' money. Hey guys, so recently I've been wanting to be Heather. That was really stupid. You know how we were talking about ordering the tennis skirt? I ended up already ordering one from Crybaby. It's super cute and yeah. I didn't show you guys because like it had just gone back in stock after it was out of stock. But there are a few things that I still need. I still need a bra, white sock, and I also need, okay, I don't need this, but I really want a pleated plaid skirt. Okay, so where I wanted to get my skirt from Shein, but I've been trying to order this forever, but my debit card thingy that I got for Christmas wasn't working. You know how like on Pinterest there's always like the girls with like the pleated skirts and then like the white crew neck? I think that's so adorable. Black and white one. I did not click on that. Boss, bye. I know I'm gonna get copyrighted because I'm just such a good singer. I mean, you always gotta look at the reviews on Shein. So no reviews? No ratings? Well, she's gonna be more large. There was this really pretty like bluish color that I thought was adorable. Okay, everyone says low key 2020. Okay, well, we'll just get the medium. Okay, so we'll just leave our cart there. You know what? I feel like this is weird. I'm not gonna bra shop with you guys. So I'll just come back once, once we're done. Guess who just finished their summer reading? Me, and I have an essay on it due Tuesday. Guys, I realized that I used a quote in my essay that wasn't even from the fucking book. Like, the author said it, and I thought he said it in the book, but he just said it. And so, hopefully she doesn't notice, because it sounds like something he would say in the book. But, like, it works so well with my theme, I don't want to redo it. This is, like, one of the stupidest things I've done in a while. I guess this qualifies as preparing for back to school. Um, I read my book in, like, two days. It is what it is. I'm counting that. Maybe I'll make a typing time lapse later. I don't know. Hey guys, if you hear Murphy running around, well, it's Murphy, so don't be alarmed. Um, anyway, I just, this is like my normal monthly spread. I just wrote September and like, oh, you guys don't really care? I don't know, I just drew little leaves. Okay, I'll show you guys like more in-depth things about my things that I do for like school-wise, you know? So, monthly tracker, that's obvious. Really helps me keep track of test dates and all that shit. 
and then I decided to make a monthly goals page and so my goals for this month I think were to run three times a week um what else were my goals Ugh, fuck I don't know but if you can read them there they are I might I'll zoom in on the clip so you guys can see this better but yeah I like to write goals whenever I go back to school just so I can like kind of push myself a little bit to do better than I did before you know and work on the things that I didn't do so great at last time and then I really like using a habit track and this time I did it a little bit differently I kind of just used the like circles instead of a graph which I really am liking because it's just easier and more clean cut and simple I guess I really the thing that's most beneficial for me to track is like when I exercise because it's good for me to like make sure that I'm like keeping up because it really hurts my mental health whenever I don't exercise or work out enough. So that's what I like to use that for. And then on the right, I decided to make a little timetable. I'm gonna try to fill in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays which I get to my normal online schedule. One second, I need to deal with this motherfucker. You can't, you can't take that. This isn't yours. Sorry. And then, yeah, I just put out my schedule because I'm gonna be in school Thursdays and Fridays. And then once I, you know, figure it out, I'll put it in for the rest of the days. And then I remembered that I need to do an updated semester at a glance. So this is really helpful for when... Sorry, Murphy's being a pain in the ass. This is really helpful for when I have like a test the next month. So I can't put it in my monthly log, but I still want to remember. So I put it in whatever month that test is in or like important AP tests, finals, trips, all that good stuff is really helpful for me can you the murphy this dog you would think that he is not given any attention so now i'm doing my weekly spread my weekly spread for back to school is like a lot more detailed than my summer spread because i use gratitude it's really good for you to like be grateful for something every day and take the time so i have a space for that and then i have the space for priorities so i can see like what's most important for me to do that day because I know I'm not always going to get everything done that I want to get done and then I have just my general to do and then I and then I have a timetable so I can plan out when I want to do work for each class especially with online school it's been really helpful and also like if I have sports any doctor's appointments all that jazz this dog is literally attacking me for no reason. Oh my god, ow. 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 Okay, I think that's my cue to leave. Peace. So it's Monday night and it's a school night. I just tried on some clothes from last year. Mostly jeans and like, none of them really fit kind of like triggering me <laughs> you know it's a stupid thing to be upset about i know your body changes and it's fine but anyway i'm not feeling too great i'm literally about to have a panic attack about going back to school and sitting in class i don't know why that thought gives me so much anxiety like i genuinely don't know yeah so i think i'm gonna take a bath because self-care yeah, and i need to wash my hair i saw this hack where you put purple shampoo in dry blonde hair and it like makes your hair a lot blonder so i don't know if that's true should we go try it together i don't really want to get purple hair the day before school starts so i'm not gonna do that actually okay um i have this candle going i've been talking to my friends and that makes me feel better so smells so fucking good. It is Capri Blue Volcano 06. Anyway, let's go take a bath. I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow because it's the first day and I honestly would be surprised if I end up making it to actually go to school on Wednesday. Like, I just... Guys, why does this have to be so hard for me? I hate it here. I literally hate it here. And I feel like I can't tell my friends about it because I feel like I just annoy them. And then anytime I mention it, to like, my mom's not here, so I can't vent to her about it. And it's just like, you're going to school. I'm like, boo, you whore. Okay, I'll talk to you later.